Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I want to welcome you all on this very, very special occasion. I'm Kim Hufford, president of the Darien Library. And um, before we get started, I just want to um, recognize a few special guests. I hope I don't miss anybody, but I see um, we have Ken Wiggins, the Connecticut State Librarian here. Um, I saw David Bain, one of our selectmen. Um, Bob Harold, our former first selectman. Um, <laughs> Callie Sullivan, one of our selectmen. Is Seth here? Seth's here? Um, anyway, thank everybody. Oh, Barbara Thorne. I'm going to miss. I, I'm, I need to be taller. <laughs> yeah, that's, we'll save that for another day. Um, once in a lifetime, a community builds a library. And for those of us in Darien, that time is now. Um, it's beautiful. I think it's innovative, timeless. Um, we hope it works. We'll find out in about 10 minutes when you all <laughs> come marching through the doors. But really, um, I think it's unbelievable what we've all accomplished. Um, I look out at this crowd and this group of people, and it really has taken the whole community to get us here today. Um, but I also kind of specifically think of what it took to get this building built. Um, there are many, many, many people who contributed, but I do want to take this opportunity because it's the one opportunity I have to mention a few people. Um, George Wiper, co-chair of the Capital Campaign. <laughs> um, Bruce Hill, who in the start um, was vice president of our board and um, worked very hard to get us through um, all of our approval processes. Dot Kelly, our environmental guru who um, helped us clean up what was a toxic waste site and got us our geothermal and we're, we're thrilled with, um, with our LEED certified gold building and thanks to DOT that happened. Um, chairman of our building committee, David Campbell, really I, I can't say enough. <laughs> And uh, Peter Gisolfi and Frank Crane is here, and Cheng Wu, they're our architects. I mean, it speaks for itself. It's beautiful, it's lovely, and um, we really appreciate um, their bringing our vision to life, and their vision to life. Um, Andy Ashworth and everybody at AP, Frank uh, Fizikas and Mark Moran, I hope Mead is here, and oh, there's so many, but AP, um, again, Took, took the plans and uh, put one brick on top of another, and here we are. Um, and I can't end without thanking Louise Berry and the staff. This is Louise's vision and her hard work. And um, but before I conclude, I really want to thank all of you. Um, your financial support was clearly critical. Um, we had to raise $24 million in a capital campaign to build this. But um, as I've said, on, on, uh, it's more than just the financial support. It was really your moral support that um, got us through this Herculean <laughs> um, project that we had in front of us. Um, you love the library. Who wouldn't? Uh, you love our librarians. Who wouldn't? You've been our cheerleaders, and it really took a community to build the library. So I am proud of it. I am proud of all of us. Um, when you begin walking in here today, um, I hope each of you feels a great sense of excitement and um, uh, accomplishment. I think it is a gem of a building. I think um, the staff, as always, um, the best part of the library, and it, I think this building will, uh, will be um, in our community and a part of our community and serve our community for generations to come. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to a couple people for some remarks. Um, we'll be brief, because I know you're cold and you want to get inside, but Bob Duff, our yeah, state senator. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much. In a time when we could use some good news, this is great news right behind me here today. And I want to thank all of you for being a part of this and for the opening of this wonderful library. Uh, the state was uh, happy to be a small part of this celebration today by cutting through some of the red tape on some issues. Uh, also, uh, to provide a small uh, state grant as well. And we're just very proud to 
uh, again, help on this wonderful occasion that we have today. I also just looked out uh, my eye here. I see one of my colleagues, uh, Senator Andrew McDonald, who's here as well, who's just as instrumental to all work very hard uh, together. Thank you, Andrew. I'd like to, uh, I'm sure Terry will also just acknowledge uh, one of our former state representatives, John Ryan, who also worked hard with us at the same time. So thank you, John. So, you know, going back to the founding of our country, uh, putting up libraries and schools was something that we all did and made our community stronger. And today, Darien's community is so much stronger by this wonderful asset that we now have. So thank you all very much. I look forward to going in and celebrating this wonderful day with you. Thank you. Next, I'd like to invite Terry Wood, our new state representative. Um, thank you. And this is having been a trustee of the library, um, and my husband is a current trustee of the library, and so many of our friends have served on the, and Mary Bennett, <laughs> I see in the crowd. Um, the library is such a vital, vital part of this community in so many ways. The staff, Louise, the people who use the library, it is always ranked the best library in the state of Connecticut by the Hennon survey, I think. Is that right, Louise? Yep, that's right. Okay, <laughs> good, I got it. Um, it's a community joy, and so many people. Joe Rocks, I see, is a trustee. The Mandels are here, um, and certainly Harold McGraw. Anyway, um, we did ask Jody Rell to come today. She was not able to come, and she was sorry to miss this. She said something about the state checkbook was preventing her from, <laughs> she had a few things to attend to with that. Anyway, I do have two proclamations to read from Governor Rell. One is on the opening of the library, the dedication. For many years, the Darien Library has served the town of Darien and the state of Connecticut with distinction. The dedication of the new library is a true testament to the community's commitment and tireless efforts to raise the standards of excellence in the state of Connecticut. This occasion offers us the opportunity to thank the Board of Selectmen, Library Committee, and the staff for their generous contributions and service to the town of Darien. Their service has certainly reflected the highest standards of Darien highest standards of professionalism. They have proven to be model citizens, highly regarded by the public they have served, and well respected by their peers. Therefore, I, Jody Rell, Governor of the State of Connecticut, do hereby officially proclaim January 10th as Darien Library Day in the State of Connecticut. <laughs> now the next one is a personal happy birthday a wish to Harold McGraw, who has been for so many years a tremendous inspiration to this town in so many ways. He's kind, he's smart, he's generous, he's caring, he's intelligent, and he gets it done. Anyway, this, <laughs> this is for Harold. Birthdays are a time for celebration and reflection. You have been graced with many gifts and talents, and your birthday enables you to recognize your good fortune. Each year, you are given the opportunity to gather with friends and family to mark this special milestone. May you continue to enjoy a rich life filled with good friends and cherished memories. I wish you a happy birthday and a healthy 91st birthday. Therefore, Jody Rell, therefore I am Jody Rell, Governor of the State of Connecticut, in honor of your 91st birthday on January 10th, 2009, do hereby convey honor and recognition upon Harold McGraw in the state of Connecticut. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Terry. I'm going to call Bob yeah. back up because he has a proclamation that um, he wants to read. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about that. And uh, Mr. McGraw, that, anytime you get one of those, you have to pay more taxes. So, sorry. <laughs> There's always good news and bad news in every situation. Uh, we have a, just to mark this occasion, there's a, a citation from the General Assembly. It's from myself, Terry, and, and Andrew. It says, be hereby known to all that the Connecticut General Assembly hereby offers the sincerest congratulations to the Darien Library in recognition of the celebration of the opening of the new library and your commitment to the environment for being the first gold standard lead library in New England. We congratulate you on being a role model for other libraries around the nation and the world by innovating ways of delivering library services in your new library. Further, we honor and celebrate your continued success as the cultural heart of the community and as the best library in the state of Connecticut. Woo! All right. <laughs> the entire membership 
extends its very best wishes on this memorable occasion and expresses hope for continued success signed by our Senate President, our Speaker of the House, and our Secretary of the State. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you, Bob. And I'd like to call up Yvonne Klein, our first select woman. Yay, Good morning. Thank you. It's a great day today, isn't it? The grand opening of our beautiful new library, so thank you. Um, we, of course, have a local proclamation to make this day official, locally as well. Louise, if you would please join me. Whereas the Darien Library, founded in 1894, was located in various rental properties until 1957, when it found a home at 35 Leroy Avenue, where it grew and flourished. Whereas over the years, the Darien Library has not only provided the community with the most current materials and the most advanced information technology, but also has provided the community with a comfortable and inviting environment. Whereas the library provides top-notch services from the lending of laptops, reserving books 24 hours a day, hosting the websites of 63 community organizations, to providing programs for children, teens, and adults. Whereas a giant thank you is given to the members of our community for all of your support during the years, to the 1,350 households that contributed to the capital campaign, to Louise Berry for her leadership and vision, to the board of directors who supported the vision to build the state-of-the-art facility, and to the friends of the library for their continued support each and every year. Now, therefore, I do proclaim January 10th, 2009 as Dar Darien Library Day throughout the town of Darien to celebrate the opening of this wonderful new, fun wonderful new building and to look forward to the exciting new initiatives and programs that will maintain the Darien's library position as number one in the state of Connecticut. Okay, now the moment we've all been waiting for. And Harold, I just have to say, next time you have a 91st birthday, if you could make it June 10th. <laughs> 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 Maybe we yeah. should. A little happy birthday to Harold. We have that in us before we go in. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Harold. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Can we move these? Let's cut the wind. Right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Harold. Everybody find a place. One, two, two, three. <laughs> exciting day for the town of Darien. This is a beautiful facility. Uh, I think we're all very proud of the work of the Friends of the Darien Library who've been able to raise the $24 million to construct this wonderful place. Um, I think we're all very lucky to have this. Uh, today in particular, it's, we're going to have a lot of snow, so what better day than uh, to come and spend some time in the library. So I hope uh, everyone who's watching this and everyone in the town comes and spends a lot of time here. Thank you. Well, this, this library is truly extraordinary. And, uh, it seems like only yesterday we were doing the uh, we were doing the groundbreaking for here, and this, two years later we're here opening this wonderful facility that is really probably the best one in the state. So I'm excited about it. I think it's wonderful. Uh, you can tell already by opening day how much interest there is in the Darien community, and I I think this is just going to be a, a real anchor and, and solid foundation for the entire community. And when you see how Darien grows, it's going to grow around this library. <laughs>
about with this library is the way that the architects have captured the spirit of the community. It's a big, diverse looking building. It's very solid. But once you get inside, the spaces are intimate and they give us lots of room to connect with each other as well as learn and um, you know help each other in the process of being better community members. So I see the library as not just a place for us all to come together, but I see it as a symbol of the best that Darien can be. Eight years ago when we started this process of building a new library for the town of Darien, all of, us, all of us involved in the project thought we were putting up a building. And what we found out over time was that we were building an experience. And the great experience of everybody's satisfaction and use of the Darien Library. It was good before in the old library. We're confident that it will be great in this new library. We would encourage all of you to come and uh, see, what, uh, see what we've built. And uh, thank all of you for your support. And uh, there were many, many people involved in generating that support. And thank you. It's a spectacular facility for the community, uh, obviously environmentally friendly, which is so extraordinarily important, uh, but it's so accessible and open and it has something for everybody in town and that's the, the most beautiful part of the whole thing. It's a culmination of a lot of work by a lot of people and the town has a lot to be proud of with such a fabulous resource amongst us. Wonderful morning this morning at the Darien Library. Uh, we just uh, toured the children's room, and I'll tell you just what's available in terms of the computers. And there's this wonderful interactive table with rocks and water, and when you touch it, it ripples and it waves, and it's just so much fun. And the children are having such a great time checking out books. It just looks like there are more materials than ever for everybody to enjoy. And there's just so much room, and it's equally as inviting as our old familiar library uh, that we've been going to, or the Klein family's been going to for 19 years. So it's a great day in Darien. It's a wonderful new facility that I know to all enjoy. We'll all enjoy this. Hi, my name is John Blyberg. I'm the Assistant Director for Innovation and User Experience here at Darien Library. Uh, this morning we opened, and if you come by, you'll notice that we have a number of changes uh, in store for you. And particularly, you'll notice right away that the way that books are checked out and checked back in has changed dramatically. Instead of the um, old uh, manual book drop, we actually have a conveyor system that takes the books in and sorts them in the bottom, in, in the lower level of our library. And this is all done by RFID technology. All of the items in the library now have been tagged with RFID tags that allow us to, to track those books as they come in and sort them appropriately. And uh, this allows us to actually uh, be much more efficient in the way that we process books so books that come in can get back on the shelves much, much faster so that they can be checked out again. Um, in addition, we also have a number of self-check machines. We have four self-check machines provided by 3M that allow users to just uh, come and check out their um, books by themselves. So uh, it's, it's much like you would do at a self-checkout line in a grocery store, except in this case it's for DVDs, books, and, and CDs, and that sort of thing. And you have new computers as well, too? Yeah, we have, uh, we've doubled our computing capacity, so we've gone up from um, roughly 32 PCs to almost, uh, uh, almost 60 PCs, uh, and we've also added a couple Macs. Um, in addition, we've gone up from three Wi-Fi access points to 21 access points, so uh, every inch of this building should be, uh, have, have Wi-Fi coverage. Uh, what a great day this is for the town of Darien. Uh, it's a, just a beautiful facility. It's, it's been uh, built uh, with private funds and, uh, and is a great contribution to the town. I think uh, the time had come to move to a new facility and clearly uh, this one is state of the art. So uh, it's, I'm very pleased for the town and uh, really should congratulate uh, the Board of Trustees of the Library and, and all of those people who work to design and build this great facility. I think it is thrilling. It's unbelievable. Look around. I'm sure you've gotten it on tape. 
I expected um, I expected a lot of people to come on opening day. I did not expect uh, all of them to come at 10:05. The enthusiasm. I mean, we are thrilled. We are really, really thrilled. We are proud of the library. We're proud of our accomplishments. Um, it really it took a community to build it, and now uh, it's the community that's enjoying it, which was always our goal. So it's been a great day, and uh, I hope more and more people keep coming. Well, this is an extraordinarily exciting day for us at the Darien Library, and we're so pleased to so, see so many of our long-term members lined up so anxious to get back in the building and big happy smiles on their faces that came through the door. Uh, it has just uh, exceeded our wildest expectations this whole week getting ready and now this wonderful day of the grand opening of the new Darien Library. Uh, we're just so thrilled to be here. Remind us of the hours that the library is open. The library is open its usual normal hours that we were in the, uh, the other building. We're open 9 to 9, Monday through Thursday, 9 to 6 on Friday, 9 to 5 on Saturday, and 1 to 5 on Sunday, 69 hours a week. Congratulations. Thank you very much.